Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. We're going to open up some really cool packs today. It's from the same guy as before, Zach. He sent me some more Expedition packs that he wants to have opened up. Then he'll probably have some stuff graded. Expedition is one of my favorite sets. I'm kind of sad to see how much the box prices have gone up, or at least what people are asking. Just recently, I mean, I had a few uh, opportunities to buy some boxes for pretty in the four to five thousand dollar range, and I just kind of let them go. Which, now I'm wishing I hadn't. And then also, I'm going to be opening up six packs of these General Mills, and these are this is for someone who made the purchase on eBay. His name is Jesse. He just wanted to see them opened up on YouTube, and I figured, you know what? Why not? Normally, I don't, I wouldn't do that for this type of stuff on a, a YouTube video, but. I figured we could kind of mix them in here with the expedition packs, and uh, if you guys haven't seen these before, they're, they're pretty cool. You can get, you could have gotten them from um, the General Mills family size or the giant size, I believe. I can't remember what the name of the lower one is. Uh, cereal boxes, and they pretty much get a pretty cool card inside of it. But I got a bunch of them from, through some other guy who. Uh, who had found a lady who had a crate of them or something like that. So I guess we'll start off with one of these expedition packs. Let me just set them down. I'm going to start off with this Charizard artwork. And then uh, we'll go into, you know, just kind of mixing them in with the General Mills. So let me push this down. Now what would be cool is, if you guys remember, there was one of these packs where there was a hollow, a rare, and a reverse hollow. That would be cool if we got that again. All right. Let me pause it really quick. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to cut out for a second. I just got some insurance and a lot of stuff, and I saw that number calling, and I didn't want to miss it just because I pretty much had a lot of insurance stuff switched over. But here's the pack of cards that pretty much sat there. Let's see what we have in it. So one, two, three. Man, I can't even remember. I think it was the fourth and fifth card. I'm gonna say, I think it's the fourth and fifth card. There's nine additional cards. So one, two, maybe it was the third and fourth. <laughs> I can't even remember. We'll probably get this one wrong, but that'll be okay. Don't I always. Won't change the cards. This one kind of looks a little extra shiny on the back side. So that's, that tells me that it's either definitely a reverse hollow or maybe it's a hollow. We'll just go through and see what we have here. So we have Corsola, Chikorita, Oh, the other second, the other Chikorita, back to back. You got Meowth. So the rare was five, or I guess six from the back. Or is that the third card? Okay, so it was the third from the back. So we got Vileplume, Machoke, and then Professor Oak. And then, so this is probably the reverse holo, and this is probably a uh, common. Oh no, this was a, a hollow rare and a reverse holo pack. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> so we actually got that. So we got a reverse holo Caterpie. We got a rare vile plume. Let me put that in a case. I wonder if that was the case with all the Expedition Hollow packs. It's been so long since I've opened them. Let's look at this Dragonite. Man, it's looking pretty good to me. Wow, yeah, check that out. Backside, really nice. Is it? I think that might be a little white dot right there in the middle of the bottom. Other than that, I think that's a I mean, that's a really good pull, but overall, really good condition. So, pack number one. All right, let's kick it off in a good way. All right, next up, let's do uh, let's do two of these General Mills packs. Let's see if I can cut that off. I've tried ripping this stuff where it's like really stretchy. Let's pull that out. One, two. Maybe we'll get all five hollows in these General Mills packs. Bulbasaur is by far the most expensive one. But I don't think the pull rates are any lower on it if you had family size booster packs. Because you could only get the Bulbasaur from the family size cereal boxes. I don't think it's the front card, but maybe it is. Oh, it is. Well, there you go. We got the Bulbasaur right off the bat. So he's got the best card. That's probably like a... It was 15 bucks at one time. It's probably about a 5 to $8 card now. I'm not really sure. I haven't kept up with the market too much on that. They got a common Bell Sprout and a Magmite. And he got the Eevee. Oh, sweet. That Eevee used to be pretty expensive just because it was so playable. And then... Uh, I think Sun and Moon went out of print, and it hasn't been reprinted. 
but it's got that really cool energy evolution ability that started way back with the EV number 11 from the Wizards of the Coast promos. It had 30 HP though. I think the attack was 20 for one energy, but basically you attach an energy to it and then you can uh, evolve it. So it's a really nice ability. Okay, so these are not Zacks, these are Jessies. And then these cards are Zacks. So now we'll open up another expedition pack. We'll go with the Blastoise artwork. I'm glad we start out with that Charizard, man. That's the Dragonite. Very cool. I'm not even sure how to do this because if it's if it does have a hollow, or I guess if it if it does have a hollow rare, so we'll know that the fourth and fifth card back, like this should be definitely a reverse hollow, and then possibly a hollow rare. And then this one might be a rare. We'll just have to see. You can tell this one had some edging on one of those uncommons in the back on the back side. See it all the way around. So you definitely don't want to grade that one, Zach. So we got Energy Search, Ponyta. Ooh, we got a Pikachu. Shelter. Oh, we got a rare. So maybe that one's a hollow too. Oh man, I hope it is. That or it's actually the fifth and no, this is the third card from the back. Okay, so that's Pidgeot, Jinx, and then Power Charge. So, I guess what I'm doing is I'm banking on this being a hollow when I don't sleeve the third card from the back side. But we'll see. And this one should be a reverse hollow either way, if I'm thinking correctly. Oh, no, it was a hollow. So, the, so that really glossy looking backside, that's actually like, that's the hollow version. So he got two packs in a row where he had a rare and then also a hollow rare. And Ampharos is a really good one. That's pretty tough to get in PSA 10. Oh, man, it looks great. Wow. Let's look at this backside. And we still got a reverse hollow over there. Got a little bit of damage there, a little bit of whitening, but overall really nice. Oh, that's sweet. So maybe we'll know with this last pack, or this last loose pack, whether or not it's going to have a hollow in it from, and I'll be able to sleeve that up. And then this one should be a reverse hollow, and the reverse hollows can actually be pretty exciting for Expedition because there's two different Charizards you can get. And see, with this Caterpie, I was just like, oh look, Dragonite, and I flipped around the Caterpie, so I didn't mean to blow that off so fast so I won't do it like that this time oh, we got a multi-technical machine which you'd be surprised some of the trainers uh, from the expedition set can get pricey like the energy switch I mean they're tough but I don't think this is one of those but still looks really nice so two hollow packs right in a row right in a row well I guess technically four if you're looking at the general mills packs as well but these um, these always have one hollow in them. I'm gonna go ahead and snip all four of these tops at once. All right, pull them out. But we're gonna open up two packs, and then we'll do another expedition. And then we'll do two more general mills, and we'll finish out with that Charizard blister in the background. those are down so again these are for Jesse this is two different people the expedition come from Zach thank you very much for sending me expedition packs I always have a lot of fun with them Try to push these up and these packs are so tight okay that's just the thing in there all right so pack number one, we have Charmander. All right, so maybe we'll get all five cards. We got Bulbasaur, Eevee, and the Charmander. We got Kangaskhan, Magnemite, and Pikachu. All right. So the only one we don't have is the Cubone. And we still have two packs to go, so maybe we'll get that. I think Pokemon did a really good selection of cards. You know, that you would think that it would get a new promo or an alternate artwork or something like that, but. Well, this one is alternate, um, but you know they they stuck with the same cards. They just kind of ch changed the pattern in the background, which is cool. I mean, I, I do like that. But at least they picked some really popular ones like Bulbasaur, Eevee, Charmander, Pikachu. Cubone is probably the least popular out of the five, but I still know a lot of people who like those. I think S. M. Pratt really likes Cubone. All right, moving on. Here we go. 
Now we have the Venusaur artwork. So far, the expedition packs have been really good to us. Two rares, two reverse hollows, and two hollows. That'd be good just to you know get out of you know a full set of three packs. Or actually all six packs. So one, two. So it's very possible that this one is a rare. So we'll flip that one over. This one looks like it might actually be a, a hollow. It looks like the surface is a little bit wavy. And then this one should be a reverse hollow, which actually has an edging issue on that top corner, which is kind of a bummer. So we'll show these first. And if that's indeed a hollow, I mean, that'd be three for three, which is kind of crazy. All right, so we have Moo Moo Milk, Geodude, Meryl. Ooh, I like that Squirtle. Got Graveler, Pupitar. All right, so. Let me sleeve these up. This should be, I think, a reverse hollow. If it is a hollow, or if it has a hollow, it would be this card, so maybe we'll do that one last. And then this one should be a rare, I think, either way. Ah, it is a rare. So we've got Typhlosion. Man, that's a good one. There's two different Typhlosions. They kind of mimic the... What was it? Neogenesis in a way there was like for each of the starters there was you had two Typhlosions, you had two Meganiums, you had two for alligators but you also had two Charizards, you had two uh, Blastoise, two Venusaur. Um, Expedition was a big set it was not as big as Aquapolis or Sky Ridge however it was still a really big set and it had the, it was like out of 165 which was larger than any other of the regular base sets if you didn't if you were going by the numbers with well, the way they did it with uh, Aquapolis and Sky Ridge is they actually had H numbers for the hollows so I almost flipped that one around in my ramble so for the reverse hollow we have oh no it is not a reverse hollow so that must be a reverse hollow which is kind of a bummer but you know what that's all right maybe we'll get us a Charizard Oh man, I saw that red. So we got us a reverse hollow Cyndaquil. Yeah, that one looks really nice other than that back corner. Oh no, I guess that was just a common. So this one actually looks pretty good. I thought it was a wavy surface. I think it's just the way that ring light in the background is going off on it. Very cool. So the rare was definitely nice on that one. We'll open up these two packs and then we're going to finish off hopefully strong with that Expedition blister which are getting really tough to find now Cubone would be a nice pull just so that he gets all five but he does have more packs he actually bought a single and then also bought I'm just gonna rip this from the back side and then he also bought uh, another it was a set of 10, and I'm opening up six of the set of 10, so he still has another five packs on the way. Oh, we did get Cubone, man. We were five for five. Well, I didn't even get a duplicate in the first five. Magnemite, Lickitung, and then he got a second Pikachu. Very cool. Maybe with his 11 packs, he'll complete two full sets. So I'm going to send the rest of this stuff out to Jesse once uh, I get his order packed up after this one. Thanks for throwing in just a little bit of extra stuff in between these packs. And then Zach over here, he's already got him two hollows, three rares, and three reverse hollows, and he still has one pack to go. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this thing up. This blister is in really nice shape. <laughs> it's a shame to open it up, but man, sometimes you just have to pop that seal. Alright, I'm going to snip it across the top. There we go. Alright, so that blister, it is done for officially. After, what is it, 17 years. Now, I'm going to dig into that pack. see that there's the reverse hollow possibly the hollow tell you what we're just gonna we'll pull the back two and we're just gonna go straight through this one all right so we have crocodile 
Bailey. We've got two of the Gen 2's middle starters. Diglett, Machop, Rattata, Quillfish. Ooh, got us a hollow goal. So, man, three out of four on the hollows. All right, let me sleeve that up. Well, let me put it down in the background. Ooh, and a reverse hollow shelter. And then, got a, a rare Gengar as well. Wow. Man, another good pack. Let's look at the Gengar. Check out the backside. Not centered extremely well. But overall, not bad. I'm not seeing too much of edge wear. So we'll put that Gengar there. And then we'll, we'll go over these really quick at the end, too. Got the shelter. Again, really good shape. Now we've got the Golem. Which it doesn't have a whole lot of hollow to screw up, you know, with print lines, but man, it looks good. Backside got a few white nicks on the bottom, but that's about it. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I mean, it was really fun going through these packs. He's got a shelter, reverse hollow, got a Gengar rare, reverse hollow Cyndaquil, a rare Typhlosion, reverse hollow multi technical machine number one, hollow Ampharos. I bet Jim Mint's digging that one. Got the rare Vile Plume. Reverse Hollow Caterpie. Got a, a Hollow Rare Dragonite, which that was my personal favorite. And then we also got a Hollow Rare Golem. So thanks again, Zach. Let me know what you'd like to have graded. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be on the lookout for another video tomorrow at noon.